Hi guys. Right. I thought it might be fun to have a go at making our own high voltage transformer. So what I've done, I picked up a couple of these cores. So I've got two. I've got four of these sections in total. So I've got two pairs. And they were like this when I got them. So I've took one of these and I cut it along here, along here, just to leave these two sections. And then I placed these in here and glued them in. And I took the other part from the other pair. And now we've got a larger core. What I've done for the actual bobbin is uh, it's just PVC pipe in the middle. And then I've cut out these discs with a core cutter. So then uh, just glued those on. So we've got a bobbin to slide over this. So I thought we'd have a go at winding one and uh, see what we can achieve from this. We'll give it a good test and uh, see what we can do. Right, this is 0 0.33 gauge copper enamel wire. And I've got a fair bit of this, as you can see. So this is what we're going to use. Right guys, we've got some turns on here now. As you can see, we've hit one, miss one, hit one, miss one. That's just to reduce the capacitance between turns. So we're going to run this at quite high frequency. Right, we'll give this a test then, guys. Right, so we've got the shelf for testing now, guys. And we've just got a small safety gap on there. Of about, you know, 10 mil or whatever. Just because this is not under oil yet. And we don't want any high voltage across that coil, really. <coughs> we've just got a random frequency on there. 5.4 kilohertz from something I was running earlier. So we'll just test it that. We're not interested really on uh, tuning this at the moment. We just want to see some output. Right guys, we've just got a random amount of turns on this primary, just for testing. So here we go. 11. There we go. We jumped that little um, one centimetre gap there, that safety gap. We jumped that at about 30 volts on the primary. So we'll just wind up a bit now and uh, see what kind of output we've got. Guys, as you can see, that's pretty reasonable. So the next step now, obviously, is to get that under oil, and uh, we'll go from there. 